Hey, I'm Scott, and these are the sticks you've been looking for. So before we get into this, please do head over to my Facebook page and hit like or follow or whatever it's called over there. I post a lot more, you know, behind the scenes type stuff, previews of upcoming reviews, and uh, you can see what I'm using, how I'm using it. It's just a, a great place to kind of chat and keep in touch with everybody. So if you don't mind, please head over there, hit the like button and don't be shy. Now getting right into it. Of course, there are tons of tripods on the market and you know, they all have their own applications, but this one from iFootage has proven to be really, really versatile. And of course it has a great build quality behind it and iFootage has proven Proven to be a company that stands behind their products and is really great customer support. I've been using their Cobra 2 uh, monopod and this Komodo K5 head for a while now and I've absolutely loved them in terms of performance, build quality, and also the company behind it. On top of all that, starting off at under $200, this tripod does come in at one of the best prices for a tripod that has all it has to offer. This one that I have specifically is the Gazelle Uprise and it's the TC6, which is the carbon fiber version, but they do also have aluminum if you want to save a little bit of money and they have two options for the number of leg sections whether you want a more compact folded design or a little bit more strength because fewer leg sections means thicker legs so like i said this is one of the most versatile tripods that i've used and honestly besides the obvious things you know build quality and stuff like that versatility is one of my favorite qualities in a product so that's what we're going to talk about today we're going to go from the top to the bottom of this tripod we're going to talk about all of the little things that this has to offer and how they all work together but don't get in the way of each other and hopefully by the end of this video you will be convinced that this is one heck of a versatile little tripod in a very compact, lightweight, and well-priced package. Starting from the top, you actually get a leveling head design that's pretty similar to the head of a video tripod. Of course, those you can remove and put onto different sets of legs, but this is attached permanently. However, you can still take advantage of the ability to level out the head of your tripod so you can get nice level pans and you don't have to worry about messing with the legs length, you know, on uneven ground or whatever. It just saves a lot of headaches really quickly. Right under that, you have a nice big twist lock, which is very easy to grab and loosen or tighten, and it moves very smoothly once you loosen it, so you can really easily get things level. And there is also a bubble level on there that, at least when you're using something like the Komodo K5 head that they offer, you can still see even with the head on there. Well, this is obviously a great design, especially for video users who need to have level video. It is possibly the one weak point, depending on how you want to use this. It can handle fairly heavy cameras. However, if you want to put a slider on here and you're getting that weight away from the center, that's gonna add more torque to this. And you have to tighten it down really tight to make sure that that extra torque is not going to make that head slip out of position. And this picture that I'm putting up here right now really, really pushed the limits of that. I had to tighten it down really tight to make sure that this didn't slip out of position when I slid this out away from the tripod but honestly that was kind of expecting too much from such a small and compact design however even this when I tightened it down really tight did do the job and as long as I didn't put any unnecessary extra pressure on the camera itself when I was sliding this out away from the center of the tripod it did do the job and I did use it on several shoots like this if you're using a heavier camera on a longer slider this may not be the tripod for you but for all other people having this leveling head here is absolutely awesome below that we have one more twist lock for the sliding center column now having that sliding center column to adjust your height without messing up your horizon and having that leveling head on top of there is an absolutely beautiful combination. Usually with a proper video head you don't get to have that center column which means if you want to make even minor height adjustments you have to adjust the legs which can get kind of cumbersome but here you can adjust the height without messing up your horizon and you still do get to use that leveling head on top of there so it really is the best of both worlds. Obviously, raising that center column will affect your stability to a certain point, but I found it to be plenty stable still, and especially for running gun type situations where I'm going to want to bring this smaller, more compact, lightweight tripod, it's, you know, nothing that I'm not happy to sacrifice. Also, of course, just because you have it doesn't mean you have to always use it. One little negative note, though, on that center column is that the twist lock to unlock that gets kind of stuck at one point just after you loosen it, and then you have to push it past that, and after that, it will unlock uh, and twist smoothly. But there is, like, one kind of point where it just gets stuck a little bit, and I don't know if that's just my tripod or if it's all of these for whatever reason, but uh, that was kind of annoying. However, it really doesn't hinder the use of the tripod in any way whatsoever. Anyway, when looking at the different options that iFootage came out with with their new tripod line, the center column was the one thing that kind of had me hesitating to choose the uprise design. It's really useful to have, but it can also limit how you use it, especially when you want to go down into low mode by extending the legs out because that center column will just physically get in the way. There are tripods where you can completely remove that center column, but generally they might take a little bit more time. You might have to remove the camera or you might even need some tools to do it. But this is such a simple thing here that they just did really, really right. 
you can take off the bottom part of the center column in seconds, just like this. I mean, you don't have to remove the camera, you don't need any tools, it doesn't take any time at all, and you can still use that leveling head on top of there. Once you take that off, you can go as low as you want, and speaking of that, this tripod can actually spread out the legs to go pretty low. The locks here on the legs to adjust the angles are also really easy to use. Once you lift them up, you can then extend the leg to the highest angle, it will automatically snap back in, and then as you lower the leg, it will ratchet into place automatically. You don't have to do anything else. So there are three different angles that you can snap these legs in at, and it's just really quick and easy to do that. Moving down even further, if you've never used an iFootage tripod, let me tell you, the locks on these legs are also really a joy to use. They're very easy to open and very easy to close. I don't feel like I'm worried about getting my fingers pinched in here. They're very smooth, very easy to grab, but also very tight and secure. Now, I mean, even down to the retractable rubber feet that you can just screw down to reveal the spikes so you don't have to worry about taking anything off, bringing anything with you, losing anything. Just they did everything they could here with this tripod to make this very easy, quick, and just simple to use. And it can really handle almost anything that you throw at it. It can go into any situation that you want it to. You've got a leveling head, you've got a center column that allows you to make quick and easy height adjustments without losing any of the other functionality. You can also remove that so you can get this down really, really low. It's light, it's solid. There are different versions available for different prices and different needs. It's just a very, very great all-around tripod. I do also strongly recommend this Komodo K5 head that they have. It just fits on here perfectly, and it also fits into the case that they have, the carry case, which is really great quality, and it is not any larger than it needs to be, so it's easy enough to carry around with you. And it also has an expandable section, so whether you are using this head or not, you can fit it in there both ways without any extra size. So again, please do check out their website because they have tons of different versions available. They actually have two models and they have different uh, heights and they have different materials for all of those so there's, there's just something for everyone really uh, but check out their website to see exactly what the prices are what the options are and if you want to see any more of these specs in terms of like the weight capacity and things like that because it's going to differ from model to model but if you have any other questions or comments please do leave that down below and I will do my best to get back to you don't forget to head over to my Facebook like that share this video do whatever you can to help support me I really really appreciate it to help this channel keep going but for now as always thank you for watching